Metro Golden Mayor, the star of our show, Red Skelton. much, ladies and gentlemen. How are you, Rod? I'm fine, Red. What's new in Hollywood? Huh? What's new in Hollywood? Husbands. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if I ever get washed up in radio, I've got a permanent job now. Really? What is yeah, it? Yeah, best man at Arlene Judd Weddings. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the, the guy she married, old man, cut him off. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> well, they saved the money, though. They saved a little money they on did? this one. Yeah, she used the same flowers that she used at her last two weddings. Uh, well, weren't they wilted? <laughs> Huh? Weren't they wilted? Oh, you tourists, you. <laughs> At the rate some people get married out here, flowers don't have time to wilt. <laughs> hey, they've got a new license. If any of you folks want to get married out here, they have a new license now. It uh, has a special rate to it. Mm -hmm. It includes a two-day stop-off at Niagara Falls on your way to Reno. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry I said that. <laughs> Well, we've uh, read seven lines, old boy, and we haven't read anything that's written yet. <laughs> well, let's see if it's worth reading. Okay. Wait, where do we start? <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you think of the windstorms that have uh, been sweeping the country? Well, uh, things pretty good. <laughs> Some of those gales have hit 60 miles an hour this week. Oh, yeah, week. we got some pretty fast gales. Yes, sir. <laughs> been blown down by the wind. There's a hot dog stand up on Sunset Boulevard. It was uh, collapsing. Yeah. <laughs> the owner crawled from underneath the wreckage and he looked around and he says, Harry said he was going to do something about inflation, but he's carrying it a little too far. <laughs> the wind blew so hard out here this week that NBC almost moved to another network. <laughs> like to put in one we hear from the big fellas from. You know? hey, the California weather sure been rugged lately. Yeah, they're going to change the song California, Here I Come to California. How come? <laughs> Say, Red, uh, what's your opinion of this new pyramiding craze? You know, it's oh. a sort of a chain letter without chains, isn't well, it? Well, I'd rather not discuss it, Rod. In the first mm -hmm. place, some people feel that chain letters are against the law. In the second place, it's gambling. In the third place, if I don't break the chain, I'll be able to get a thousand bucks any minute. <laughs> Did you belong to these clubs, Red? Uh, uh, wait, I'll tell you. I, uh, no, uh, <laughs> no, I have my own little chain letter system. Every th Thursday, I give Dave Rose 50 bucks, and then every Monday, he gives me $50. Well, that doesn't give either of you a profit. I know, but it sure confuses the income tax people. <laughs> well, speaking of confusion, I see where Rita Hayworth finally met the Aga Khan. Yeah. I wonder what he thought of her. Oh, he thought she was right down his alley. <laughs> Well, speaking of the Aga Khan, how would you like to get paid off the way he does? You know, every year he sits on a scale and they give him his weight in gold. Oh, I, I, I wouldn't want that myself. Mm -hmm. Every time you trim your toenails, it costs you a couple hundred bucks. <laughs> well, speaking of weight, I understand that people had to wait for hours to see President oh, Trump's inauguration oh, yesterday. I don't mind reaching for him, but boy, that's too far. <laughs> 3,000 miles for this joke. <laughs> no, no, that, that inauguration must have been a great show. You know, they yeah. said that about a million people watched the parade. Yeah, I hear that uh, Roper and Gallup went, went through the crowd yelling, Fibbers, Fibbers. <laughs> uh, was uh, ex-president Dewey there? <laughs> That's good. I'm mm -hmm. sorry I didn't get to say that. <laughs> no, uh, Dewey wasn't there. He stayed in New York. I hear that he was wearing his mustache at half mast. <laughs> well, uh, no matter how you voted, Red, you've got to take your hat off to Harry. My hat? Mm -hmm. With all those taxes, he's going to get my shirt. I have to give him my hat, too? <laughs> no, I'm only kidding, Rod. I don't mind paying taxes. Mm -hmm. After all, it's only money somebody wrote here. <laughs> That's right, Red. You know, you can't take it with you. No, oh, but it'd sure be nice to try. <laughs> I got news for you. If I can't take it with me, I don't go. 